What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create a Word document with Excel VBA and then have multiple styles of text in that same document. So let's get into it. Alright, so uh, I've got my VBA editor, editor on the left here, Excel doc on the right. Um, let's call this sub uh, multiple text styles and um, I know you've seen it before where a document will have like a header um, font style, it'll have like a subheader style, and then like the actual paragraphs, they're all will be like, they'll have like three different, um, whether they're bold, italicized, underlined, uh, the color even. So we're going to go ahead and create an example of that right here. So we call this sub multiple text styles, and then we'll declare our variable. So we've got. Um, object word and object doc and we're going to set object word equal to create object and we want the word application and then we're going to set object doc equal to object word and then we're going to add a document, document to add. So now with object doc, let's end our width. And inside the width, we're going to have, let's, let's do three different styles. So we're going to add our first style. We're going to call it my heading. And then we're going to have another style. It'll be my subheading. And then our last style, we can just call it um, my paragraph. All right, so now we want to do is with each of these styles we're going to specify um, the parameters for each font so for my heading font and then let's end this with here and inside of here we're going to do the name let's just go with the basic times as the font and then the size, let's go big with this one. Let's go 30. Um, bold, let's go ahead and set that equal to true. Underline, sure, why not? Let's do that. True. Um, italic, let's leave that false. And then text color, um, let's go ahead and explore that. So if I go to more colors, um why not let's go with like a deeper red see what that gives us so 165033 all right 165033 so we got RGB 165033 that's going to give us the color we want and then let's bring this in width up here all right, so now on to the next style. So the next style, um, let's go ahead and just copy and paste this. So copy, paste, and we'll do it one more time. All right. And then the second style is going to be subheading. This name, let's go with Arial. Size, let's do 20. Bold. Um. Yeah, sure. We'll do bold, but we're not going to underline, and we will italicize. And then for the color, let's go with um a, a lighter red. So two fifty five eighty eighty is what this color is. Okay. Two fifty five eighty eighty and then the 
last one is my paragraph. Let's leave it at times, but let's make the size 10. So bold, no. So false, underline, no. And we're not going to have it italicized either. This text color, let's just make it black. So 000 is black, I think. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. So we've defined all of our styles. So let's go ahead and put them to work. So with object word, and we're going to end our with. So we're going to make the Word document visible and we want to activate it so that it pops up in the front. We also want to now do selection and we're going to select our style, one of the styles from above. So let's go with our first one and we're going to want my heading and then we're going to do selection type text and let's just start with something basic let's just call it introduction so introduction will be our our header um, and then we'll go to the next line so we'll do selection type paragraph And then we'll use another style and we'll do my subheading this time but let's reference a cell here so let's say after introduction we'll, we'll say we'll call it part one so part one and then we'll just do Let's make this a little cleaner. Let's let's do this. So, um, with dot selection, and then end with. We can get rid of this here. going to do type text and it's going to be this workbook sheets and the name of the sheet is sheet one and then we want cells one one just the very first cell one one and we want the text in that cell And then we'll do this again. We're going to go down. So we're going to do type paragraph again and use our last style. So let me just copy and paste that here. Run out of space. And this time we're going to use my paragraph and then cells down one, down two over one, so down two one. So we're going to be here with it. And we'll just say this is an introduction to the report. Please continue to read, blah, blah, whatever, right? So that'll be it. Um, let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got our introduction, then we got part one, and then we have our text. And you see that the uh, 
style of the text changes for each of the headers that we use, or sorry, the each of the styles that we used. And um, the first one's bold with an underline, the second one's um, italicized, and it's also bold, and the last one is just normal text um, with normal color. So if we wanted to, we could uh, use different headers so if I wanted to instead of use my paragraph for this last one do my my heading it will look something like this so you can kinda of mix and match do whatever you want whatever makes sense for your particular um, Word document so yeah it's pretty much all I got for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one